tech policy isn't just a one person issue or a one organization issue. And so it's critical for us to think about how broadband access impacts all parts of our communities regardless of where we reside. It's an area that requires a lot of different voices and a lot of different perspectives to really insert themselves into the conversation. It's important that we have advocates who are expert in uh, subject matter, but understand the important values that drive the daily lives of individuals. The one take home message I would want our communities to really understand is that those entities that have been trying to keep us away from engaging in society, if we don't have digital access, if we don't have the ability to actually organize online, then that fight back no longer exists. Recently I participated in a technical training and community network build in participation with the Internet Society, Mural Net, and the Sovereign Nation of Hawaii. Um, as part of the technical training we all built our own Ethernet cables so I hand crimped this myself. Uh, broadband access is really more of an issue of policy than it is uh, technology. Anyone can build a network um, and it's up to policy advocates to make sure that the landscape is conducive to those solutions. When we're thinking about broadband connectivity, we really need to uh, think small when we're trying to come up with, with big solutions. And by that I mean, look, our organization and I represent entrepreneurs in the broadband space and these are folks who are actually out in these rural areas without connectivity looking to make a difference uh, and rather than trying to force to serve rural America let's focus on the companies the communities that that actually want to provide solutions. I'm very proud of the fact that um, we have drawn so much attention to the importance of state leadership on this issue. Like these are multiple decade long investments that companies are making. We have to be thinking five, 10, 20 years down the road. Our job is to help policymakers connect data and research with the actual legislation that they're working on. It's the foundation of our democracy to make sure that uh, you're holding your elected officials accountable and that they understand what uh, their constituents want and need. It's a measure of success will be seeing our state promising practices, seeing lessons learned from other states come through in legislation across the country. People at every level of government, all through different communities, can make a difference. Next Century Cities works to support local leaders in their broadband access initiatives and also to lift up the voices of folks that are doing really important work at the local level. Oh, when I think of Next Century Cities, I think of preeminent uh, institution and organization that is embracing this technology and finds ways to make it accessible to people and make their lives better. I think of us as a very essential middleman between the work being done in Washington DC and federal policy making and the rest of America. There's a lot to be done in the country, but members of Next Century Cities already know what to do. And so a lot of the work is of course empowering them, but empowering other cities and other places to learn what already has been done and what can therefore be done. It's really satisfying to see uh, folks uh, realize that there's power in connecting to their leaders. You know, when they talk about uh, having a government of the people, by the people, and for the people, that, that's real and it takes work. But if you take the time and the work to engage with your elected leaders, uh, they actually will listen. The success over the next decade means that everyone in America should be able to use high-performance broadband, everyone.